Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Now, we are in the new year, and usually people want to be physically fit, but what about being financially fit? I'm here with financial advisor from Edward Jones, Keith R. Clark. Thank you so much for joining us. Kendall, thank you for having me, and I appreciate your viewers having me today. Thank you. All right, now let's go back to financial fitness. Okay. What exactly is that? It's a good question. Financial fitness is planning for your future, your retirement, uh, beyond retirement years, your estate plan for your kids, your grandkids. Uh, it's also looking at how you're doing financially today. Are you able to meet the needs of, uh, of yourself, your family? So there's a lot that incorporates that. All right, so I definitely wanna be financially fit over physically sure. fit. That's just a personal thing. So I spent a lot of money in 2021 and I feel like I got a little off track with my finances. How do you suggest I get back on track? Very good. A lot of us have gotten off track in 2021. We've had a lot of challenges that we had Christmas, New Year's, there's a lot of spending that uh, we feel a little more generous. Yeah, uh, and I days. personally made a lot of big purchases in the in 2021, so that right. was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, but you can get back on track. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a look at, first and foremost, your emergency fund. Do you have enough to carry you for three to six months of your mm -hmm. income in case there's an emergency that you didn't plan on? Build up your emergency fund again. Debt, you've gotta pay down the debt. Definitely pay the debt down. That's a big uh, lingering problem in people's lives that'll affect you today, tomorrow, and your future. Uh, look at your 401k. Look at, uh, are you adding enough to it? Easy math. If I took a million dollars today and I was living on a million dollars today for my investments, mm -hmm. that would be at 6% distribution, that would be $60,000 a year. Oh. 5000 a month. Wow. Easy math. Yeah. So if you can live on 5000 a month today, you're going to have to increase that for inflation. Okay, so speaking of our future, um, I'm pretty young, but I really wanna make sure that I'm probably more than a millionaire by the time I retire, because who doesn't want a lot of money? Or am I right? Absolutely. So what can I do, since it is the new year, starting the new year off right, what can I do to start planning towards those goals? Okay, very, very good question. And you will want more than a million because you have a lot of years to get there. So you'll need probably in the neighborhood of two to three million. So again, look at the 401k. Don't contribute 3% or 5%. Maximize your contribution. If you're under 50 right now, you can put in up to $18,000 a year into a 401k, a 403b, those qualified plans. If you're over 50, you can put in up to $26,000 a year. That's a lot. The more you save for the future, the less you have to save today, and you'll have that retirement you want. All right. Well, Keith, thank you so much for talking some sense with me today and uh, getting our finances right in the new year. Absolutely. And speaking of the new year, how do we stick with resolutions? We are going to power up with Lisa and find out just how. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I welcome you to Power Up with Lisa Wisner, a space where we share tips and life hacks on how you can live your life like a power up hero. Have you ever heard of the fresh start effect? You may have never heard about it, but if you've ever made a New Year's resolution, then you're familiar with it. Each year, many people make New Year's resolutions for change, and each year, most of those resolutions go unresolved. Here are some tips on how you can make this new year feel like a new beginning and boost your confidence. The first thing is to focus on what the obstacle may be to you achieving your goal. Remember, it's not a straight line to success. Expect to encounter challenges. You may even know what they are because of possible past failures. So make a note of these and pay attention to what they are so when they come, you are expecting them. Number two, when you are committed to doing something, be a doer. So instead of saying that you're gonna stop doing something, focus on how you're gonna start doing things. So for example, if you're gonna stop drinking soda, don't say stop, say that you're gonna start drinking more water. Number three, make small changes at a time. And I know you want it now, just like I do, but small changes actually work better and you'll be able to have quick wins and be able to succeed faster. And number four, celebrate those small wins during your fresh starts. So whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly, your happiness is actually the result of you pursuing those goals, not at the end of the achievement. The way I do this is by tracking my small wins daily in a bullet journal. 
Now, if you like these ideas, consider reading the book Rethinking Positive Thinking by one of my positive authors, Gabrielle Ottingen. In this best-selling book, you will learn about the concept called WHOOP, W-O-O-P. So now it's your turn. What is one thing that you can do today to prepare for the fresh start effect that is coming and your future self will thank you for it? I'm Lisa Wisner and I hope that you were educated, inspired and encouraged to make long lasting New Year's resolutions. We want to again remind you of the giveaway that you definitely want to take advantage of. It is two free months at Stretch Zone. You are going to head over to CoastalLivingTV.com, click on the contest banner and enter the keyword stretch for two free months at Stretch Zone. You do not want to miss out on this opportunity. Two free months at Stretch Zone. Two free months at Stretch Zone. You don't want to miss it. All right, guys, coming up, we are going to tell you some really fun things you can do around the bend. Stay with us. You're watching Coastal Living.